John Alzheimer is known as one of our nation's most recognized credit experts. Having worked for 28 years in the credit industry, John has become one of the most prolific speakers about credit and the go-to authority on answers to credit-related questions. Credit Countdown with John Alzheimer. Hello, my name is John Alzheimer. I'm a consumer credit expert. Been in the credit industry for almost 30 years. Spent time at FICO, the credit scoring company, and Equifax, which is one of the three credit reporting agencies. And so in today's video blog, I'm going to discuss Chapter 7 bankruptcy. It is common that people who write about credit, talk about credit, will rank bankruptcy as being the worst thing that can possibly happen for your credit reports and your credit scores. I don't think that's actually true. And here's why I don't think that's actually true. So let me explain a little bit about bankruptcy. So consumers, so me and you as consumers, not businesses, have the ability to file one of two types of personal bankruptcy, a chapter 13 or a chapter seven. A chapter 13, which we are not going to discuss today. In order to file a chapter 13, you have some sort of an income that can be used to pay off some of your debts. And so you are actually required because of the amount of money you make to pay back some of your debts. That's called a chapter 13, which is also referred to as a wage earner plan. So that's different than a chapter seven. A chapter seven, there's an, actually a test you have to take, a means test to determine if you qualify for a seven or a 13. If you qualify for a chapter seven, some people call that a straight bankruptcy, but essentially what a chapter seven does is it eliminates your liability for statutorily dischargeable debts. And in English, what that means is you don't have to pay back any of your debts as long as they can be legally discharged in a bankruptcy. So let's talk about what that means to credit reporting. A chapter seven bankruptcy is a public record, which means that I can look at your bankruptcy without your permission. The credit reporting agencies will commonly procure bankruptcies and place them on consumer credit reports. That's not controversial. That's not news breaking. That's happened for decades. So no big deal there. Chapter seven bankruptcies remain on consumer credit reports for 10 years from the date that the bankruptcy was filed. So if you filed in June of 2020, it's gonna be on your credit reports until June of 2030. So let's talk about the impact of that on your credit score. Obviously filing for a bankruptcy, a bankruptcy appearing on your credit report, it's considered a derogatory entry. But let's look at the credit report of a consumer, like a prototypical consumer who has to file for chapter seven bankruptcy. First off, no one files for bankruptcy if they're debt free. It doesn't make any sense. People don't file for bankruptcy if they've got killer credit reports and killer credit scores. It doesn't make sense. People who file for bankruptcy do so because they can't pay their creditors and they're looking for the legal protection offered by bankruptcy against their creditors. They have debts that they cannot afford to pay and therefore those debts are, they appear as balances on your credit report and it's very likely that you're missing payments on those debts. Some of them are probably in collections. You may have defaulted on some of your debts. You're quickly headed in that direction. And so someone who files a bankruptcy, if you can kind of think of like a crescendo or a series of ascending events, you will generally see balances, missed payments, defaults, bankruptcy. So it's usually the last thing in the line of chronology of events that, that are common that, that precede a bankruptcy. So your credit reports are already bad, okay? Filing bankruptcy doesn't make your credit reports bad. They're already bad. You already have balances that are in default. You already have charged off accounts. You may have repos, foreclosures, settlements, collections. So your credit reports are already bad, which means your credit scores are already low. Filing the bankruptcy doesn't really make you have a bad credit report. So that's one of the things that people like to say, oh, bankruptcy is terrible for your credit. Your credit's already terrible, right? When you file for bankruptcy, you now can eliminate your liability for all of your balances, all of them, unless they're statutorily not dischargeable. Things like tax, federal tax liens, you know, child support. There are certain things that you cannot discharge in a bankruptcy. But most of the debts that consumers have, things like credit card debt, deficiency balances on repos, that stuff is dischargeable. 
balances on collection accounts, all that stuff you can discharge in a bankruptcy, which means that your creditors can no longer pursue you for payment. It doesn't eliminate the debt. The debt's still there. It just eliminates your responsibility for the debt and the creditors cannot pursue you for the debt any longer. So on your credit report, when you file a Chapter 7 bankruptcy, all of your debts that are dischargeable are gone. They're eliminated from your credit reports, right? And everyone knows that balances factor into credit scores. So your bankruptcy has eliminated those, gone, okay? Next, this is one that people don't think about. The standard in the credit reporting industry with respect to third party, I'm gonna utilize the, third, the three there, third party collections, and so in other words, people call, you know, debt collectors, those companies that are attempting to collect debts on behalf of other companies. When you file bankruptcy, if you're the debt that's in collections is discharged in the bankruptcy, the collection agency is supposed to remove it from your credit reports. So a lot of people don't know that, but that's the industry standard, the guidelines and the industry standard guidelines. So if you file a Chapter 7 bankruptcy, not only are your balances gone, but your third party collections are also now gone. Gone, they're off of your credit reports, okay? When you file for bankruptcy and you discharge a debt in bankruptcy, you do not extend the amount of time that that derogatory entry can remain on a credit report. It's still seven years. So if you have a defaulted credit card on your credit report that defaulted two years ago, well, it's got roughly five more years of credit reporting to go. Filing a Chapter 7 bankruptcy doesn't restart that clock. So all of the bad stuff that's on your credit reports that has to be removed normally by no longer than seven years will be long gone from your credit reports while you still have the bankruptcy on your credit reports. Because remember, they can stay for 10 years, which is three years longer than the defaulted accounts and collections can remain if the, well, the collections are gone, but defaulted accounts, they're gonna be gone after seven, the bankruptcy can remain for 10. So really, when you file chapter seven bankruptcy, you're more concerned, or you should be more concerned with years seven through 10 than years one through seven. Because years one through seven, while you have a fresh bankruptcy on your credit report, balances are gone, collections are gone, eventually when you hit year seven, unless you do something stupid like default on new stuff after you filed for bankruptcy, but presuming you don't do that, year seven through 10, your credit report is gonna be clean, and the only thing that's gonna remain is an old chapter seven bankruptcy. And hopefully by then you have rebuilt, you've added new good stuff to your credit reports, you're paying your bills on time so you don't have any of these things, you're not getting into excessive amounts of debt. So there's no need essentially for you to rebuild again after you filed for the bankruptcy because the bankruptcy itself is kind of part of rebuilding, if you will. So keep that in mind as you're considering whether or not you're gonna file bankruptcy versus do something else. People always say that you know, bankruptcy is the worst option. I don't, I don't think that's actually true. There's a reason why there are bankruptcy laws on the books. So it should probably be your last option, but it's probably not your worst option, especially when you look at the upside it will have to your credit reports, especially the balances and those third-party collection accounts. If you have any questions about bankruptcy, drop them in the comment section below. We'll talk again soon. Have a great rest of your day. For more videos and credit tips from John Olsheimer, go to www.tradelinesupply.com.